Human Rights Watch says the Ukrainian army may have committed a war crime when it killed 16 civilians with unguarded, gra unguided rather, grad rockets in the Donetsk region. The group says the grad system is just too inaccurate to be used on populated areas. Human Rights Watch is calling on both sides in the conflict to stop using this kind of weapon if they want to avoid civilian casualties. One of the authors of the report says the Ukrainian military should be called to account for killing civilians. Neither side really seems to take enough precautions to make sure that civilians are not killed or injured. And when you use these kinds of weapons in populated areas, it's a really high risk for civilians to be injured and killed. And that's what we saw in, in the Petrovsky district, that civilians were being killed by these kinds of rockets. We were able to, by looking at the craters, looking at the direction from where the rockets were coming, from looking at the um, walls that were hit uh, by these rockets, so if, it's, if the rocket hits the western wall of a building, it's coming from the west. By doing that, we were, be, we were able to establish where the attacks were coming from, and in four attacks, they were coming from uh, areas under the control of the Ukrainian army. So in four of these attacks in Donetsk, which killed 16 civilians, we believe that the Ukrainian army was responsible for those attacks. We are calling, Human Rights Watch is calling on, on both the Ukrainian government and on separatist forces to immediately stop using grad rockets, these kinds of indiscriminate weapons in populated areas. And the Ukrainian government should also investigate uh, these cases where there are, where there is reason to believe that Ukrainian government forces were responsible for, uh, for the killing of civilians. And both sides are denying the use of grad weapons or the use of, uh, at least the use of grad weapons in, in populated areas. Um, but, but our evidence is quite clear and, and the Ukrainian government should investigate and should immediately stop the use of these weapons in populated areas.